All right, so rockerazzi.com, we are live with uh, Gavin Rostell here at uh, Grammy Camp. Gavin, listen, um, we've interviewed you a couple of times, and I found today's um, seminar very informative, very informative. And a couple of questions that weren't asked from, from the campers that I was curious, um, knowing that you have a sports background, I was just I was interested in knowing what kind how that plays a part in your pursuit of excellence today. Being I know you were a football player, a soccer player, so to speak. Does that play any role in in your pursuit of your drive? Yeah, very much so. I think so. I mean, I still <clears throat> I just choose really few things to do in life, and then I try and do them well. Mm. You know what I mean? And uh, so yeah, I love to. Uh, it's just more fun to get good at something, which is why it's better to not play, for instance, on sports, you know, f 10 sports, mm -hmm. I think. And it's nice to kind of really specialize. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a bit driven about that stuff and uh, I just find it inspiring. I mean, it's really good to sweat and then, then you go off and you work in the studio. It's mm -hmm. a great, it's a good combination. Mm -hmm. Given that Hollywood, we've lost a lot of icons lately, or a number of icons um, from Michael Jackson to Farrah Fawcett. Um, I'm curious to know if you think about legacy yourself, how you want to be remembered, how you want your songs to be remembered. Uh, you know, when I made that first record, the 16 Stone record uh, with Bush, I was like, I, f I thought it was really cool because I was like, now if I get hit by a bus, <laughs> there's a record that <laughs> exists. Right, right. And I finally made sense of my professional life, you know. So I think that every time, uh, that's what I love about making records, you know, it's weird, you know, because uh, s records, uh, people put so much pressure on, on, on themselves and they get pressure put on them. But records are just like the snapshots of time. Mm -hmm. And you, you, it's really about what you're doing there and then. So for me, I just love making things. And, and yeah, that legacy is for me a collection of records and four films I get killed in. <laughs> 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 excellent, excellent. When you're talking to a group of, of students today, right, and these are predominantly students that, that haven't made it yet, and you, you mentioned, you alluded to the fact that like, you have to define what making it is, which I thought was um, imperative for people to understand. But uh, I'm curious to know is, since you have money now, you have success, you have fame, you have kind of everything's lined up for you, right? How does that affect the songwriting? Is it different now that you don't maybe have that inner turmoil, that struggle, about you that you did maybe pre uh, 16 stone mm -hmm. and you know what's the difference now is it do you still have the drive do you still have the fire in the belly uh what's well, weird because like i never ever did it for money like when i was growing up and i was a teenager like the younger than, than, than these uh, kids today or no you know when i left school and i didn't know what i was going to do and everyone around me feels so sorry for me because i never had any money mm -hmm. and uh, you know i'd like scrimp and and save and I wouldn't say, but I was just, you know, really, like, strapped for cash. And, uh, you know, when I begin to sell records, you know, I got paid. But it's never really ever been about uh, the money. Like, my, the fire in my belly is exactly the same as it's ever been. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. It's just sort of a, a driving force to just do that in that way. I, I love it. Like, I'm in the studio right now trying to write songs. And... Um, like I, I'm so passionate about it. I'm like, you know, I run up the stairs and I'm in that studio. And, you know, even when the songs aren't going well and I hate the process, I still have a fire about it. I have a fire about how much I hate the song I was writing, writing right. you know what I mean? So I, I just think that if you have a passion for it, like that's the most important thing and it's something that I really wanted to get across today. It's about it's about the passion for it. And in a way, that this sort of a, the kind of the, the topsy-turvy nature of the music business now uh, really separates people whose maybe whose motivation wasn't as you know as pure as, as some others you know and it really should just be about how can I make a great record for me and my friends full stop that's mm -hmm. it that's all it is glycerin is like nitroglycerin you know so it's the ability for someone to blow you up emotionally and it's just about that falling into someone you know someone who means so much to you that you don't know where uh, you know, they end and you begin, you know, mm -hmm. to use a, a well-known lyric. So it's just, it's just about, this is the, the power of connection to someone. Excellent. Thank you, Gavin Rostell. Um, I'm sure everybody today enjoyed um, <coughs> an inner look at yourself um, that most of us don't get a chance to see. And I know personally um, it was extremely informative and as well as powerful and inspirational. So again, we thank you. Thanks. Right. Thank Thanks. You. Cheers.